G'day, Stephen Blayford is my name. I'm CEO of Australian Sheepskin Apparel located in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. In this session we're going to be talking about healing diabetic wounds with Australian Medical Sheepskin Disposable Sheep's or Wound Dressings and wounds that are infected with staph infection, with gangrene and also MRSA which is short for Methicillin Resistant Staphylococca aureus which is one of the worst infections that the human body can have because this infection tends to uh, disallow wounds from healing and causes those wounds to progress till they get to points of amputation and such. The photographs that we're going to be showing you in this session are very graphic indeed so viewer discretion is advised uh, in looking at these wounds. Uh, they are quite, um, quite advanced as you will see as we go through. You can see here the first product that we're showing here again is the sheep's orb disposable wound dressing. This is the simple dressing that is used to heal these wounds. Simplicity of these dressings is, in its nature, is what it does for the wound, but also its ease of change in the dressings and how fast that can be done. And if you're looking for information on how to heal wounds with sheep's or disposable wound dressings, simply go on australianmedicalsheepskins.com and you can download the information uh, on the website so that you can see exactly how the sheep's or disposable wound dressings are used to heal wounds. The other product that is utilised along with the sheep's or disposable wound dressing are the long boots, as these wounds are on the backs of the heels. What these boots do, and we keep on saying this, because of the hollow fibre in the boot, it has an insulating factor that allows the limb to maintain body temperature at 37 degrees centigrade, which optimises blood flow to the limb. And that ultimately is what we're looking at to heal the wounds themselves. And for an example, we're going to show you a gangrenous wound uh, here at the moment, and what happens very quickly with the use of the sheep's orb disposable wound dressing and how the product enables necrotic tissue to come away from the wound when that tissue is ready to do so. Again, these wounds are extremely graphic in nature and we do advise uh, caution in watching these. This first wound that you can see here is a black necrotic cap on the back of a, uh, an individual's heel. That is a gangrenous wound. You can see the gangrene and such at the bottom of that wound itself. This is a wound that's going nowhere and they were talking about uh, surgery to amputate the foot for this wound itself. Within about a week and a half to two weeks of applying the, the sheep's orb disposable wound dressings, that necrotic cap completely came away by itself and exposed the heel bone and the underlying tissue which is what mechanical debriding would normally try to achieve. Mechanical debriding would be cutting away that dead and dying tissue to get to the fresh material. Australian Medical Sheepskin Sheep's Orb Disposable Wound Dressing achieved this in a period of approximately two weeks. I know it looks quite gross, but the simple fact of the matter is the gangrene has been removed from that wound. For the reason being that the sheep's orb disposable wound dressing is microbial absorbent. So as it's absorbing that moisture content from the wound site, it's actually taking the infection that is in the wound away with it. And the beauty of it, as you can see in this wound, is how red that wound is now. We've got back to the capillaries where the blood can flow into those capillaries and start regenerating that wound. We need a higher protein intake to deal with this wound. We actually need a third more protein intake over and above our standard daily requirements to deal with one wound alone. The next wound that we're going to be progressing to is a diabetic uh, heel ulcer pre-existing for a period of around about three and a half years uh, with MRSA uh, present in this individual. The surgeon did say at, um, at this point uh, do whatever you want but don't cause any further harm because the foot was scheduled for amputation due to the fact that this individual was MRSA positive. The surgeon did not feel that the wound was going to heal. The sheepskin protocol was put in place at this point. In, uh, after a period of time the sheepskin protocol was put in place and after the wound had been mechanically debrided. And we wish they hadn't done that because the sheepskin would do that by itself. But you can see all of the yellow mu mucus and so on in that wound. That is fluid that's been trapped in there by plastic or silicone dressings. In this next frame you can see very, very uh, easily how that yellow mucus has been absorbed. And now we have blood flow in that wound. We also have necrotic tissue has formed in the top left hand side of that wound which is the deepest part of the wound. 
As we progress to the next photograph, you can see that the wound is very, very clean indeed and that necrotic tissue has self-sloughed or come away completely by itself. As we progress through, you can see now that the wound is virtually flush with granulated tissue and very bright red at the same time, meaning that it's showing blood flow getting into the wound itself. Now, this is what happens when someone comes along and takes the sheepskin away and goes back to the old standard protocol. There was some staff involved that were not sure what to do with the sheepskin product and went back to the old protocol. This is what happened after a period of time. You can see the damage occurring around the top of the wound where the adhesives were put in place to hold these plastic or silicone or foam type dressings in place. Look how bad the damage got. Look how much damage occurred to the surrounding skin tissue. So from this point on they went back to the standard sheepskin protocol and you can see that within a very short time frame there the wound has completely healed but leaving that necrotic tissue in the top left hand side of that wound. As they progressed they showed a comparison from where they started with the sheepskin to this point here which is uh, pretty dramatic indeed and also knowing that the man was MRSA positive down to the point here where less than a year later the foot is completely healed with no damage left whatsoever and no surgery to remove the foot itself. This was all done with the sheep's orb disposable wound dressings being changed twice daily, once in the morning and once at night, utilising the long bird to maintain limb temperature for the leg to optimise blood flow to the limb itself. Every wound that we have dealt with with this product, be it burns, surgical trauma, infectious, pressure, moisture, shearing and so on, is able to heal due to the fact of this product's ability to absorb moisture content from the wound, allowing blood to flow into that tissue behind that. I hope you've learned something from this session today, and if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to go to our website at australianmedicalsheepskins.com. You can email us at australiansheepskinapparel at shorebiz.ca, and thank you very much for your time.